Today, Mumtaj is blessed with a boy of 10 months. She has a happy family with her husband, son and others. At least, that's how it looks like externally. Though people forgot that this boy could have been Mumtaj's second child. When you live in a developed country or have access to all kinds of medical services, the sound of a newborn crying creates a festive mood. But when you live in a remote area of a developing country, bringing a new life brings in a whole lot of questions. How would the nine months of pregnancy be? Will the delivery be smooth? Would the mother and child even survive? There are only five doctors for every 10,000 people in 160 million Bangladesh. The proportion of nurses and midwives is even lower and it is just half of that. However, there is still a discrepancy in this statistic. The number comprises of urban and rural areas where only 30% of the total population living in the urban area is privileged with access to healthcare resources. Thus, the real situation in villages is more miserable. Although each village possesses a public health center and there are community clinic activities, most of the people in the villages either do not know about all these services or the distance is too much for the expectant mother. Moreover, the health workers provide services in the centers instead of doctors. Hence, there is no choice left for the patients but to go to the big cities in case of complicated health situations. Hence, even after 50 years of independence, 23 newborns die per thousand in Bangladesh with about 173 per 100,000 maternity deaths. Although the number of doctors is increasing, but the sad reality is it would not be possible to reach the level of a developed country even in the next 25 years. Therefore, the only way left to deal with the crisis is to reduce the number of patients through preventive health care. Like most other villages in Bangladesh, earlier there was no modern healthcare facility in Montadis, Chaigaon. After the death of the first child in the womb, the treatment of evil spirits through amulets started. However, she was actually needed to be seen by a doctor at least eight times, according to WHO's recommendation. Montage is lucky. During her second pregnancy, the Kyushu University of Japan and Grameen Communications of Bangladesh jointly initiated a specialized program in their village called Maternal and Child Health MCH Care, which is a part of their Portable Health Clinic project. Through this, Mumtaz received not only eight continuum care services at her home, but she could receive two additional checkups for her and the child at the age of six months and one year. Allah Taala ma ke do tu shantan diye chhe. Kintu durbhagga poshu to amar potham shantan ta amar agotar karone maragese. Takhon ami kono shastho sheba nei nei. Na ami isthaniye kobiras ebang huzur the diye tabis dharon kore chilam. Kintu amar shantan bhumishte hobar age maragese. পরে আল্লাহ তাআলা আমাকে আবার আরেকটি দ্বিতীয় সন্তান দিয়েছে তখন আমরা সন্তান পাই এমসিএস মা ও শিশু স্বাস্থ্য সেবা তাদের শরণাপন্ন হই আমার স্ত্রী যখন গর্ভবতী হয়েছে তখন তাকে মানে যে টাইমলি ডাক্তার সেবা দেওয়া নেওয়া উচিত ছিল আমরা সঠিকভাবে ওই সেবাটা নিতে পারি নাই কারণ হচ্ছে যে আমাদের এখান থেকে মানে ক্লিনিক অনেক দূর আর যাতায়াত ব্যবস্থা খুব একটা ভালো না দ্বিতীয়বার যখন আমরা বেবি নিতে গেছি তখন এই মা ও শিশু স্বাস্থ্য সেবার আওতায় তাদের যে সেবাটা তারা হচ্ছে আমাদের বাড়িতে এসে ঘরে মানে স্বাস্থ্য সেবাটা দিত তো এই কারণে মানে আমাদের দ্বিতীয়বার সমস্যা হয়নি এখন আমাদের বাচ্চা আমাদের সুস্থ আছে আর তাদের প্রতি আমরা কৃতজ্ঞ 
The annual general health checkup program of the Maternal and Child Health Project for all potential women between the ages of 15 and 49 is taking place today in Chaigaon. A healthcare support team is coming from Dhaka in the morning. 500 women are about to be examined today. They will share their personal complications, if any, frankly, with the female health workers. This general health examination consists of 15 important tests including BMI, body temperature, blood pressure, oxygenation of blood, blood glucose, hemoglobin, cholesterol, uric acid and urine protein. After the general examination, the patients with complications will have an online consultancy with the city doctors. The doctors will convey necessary instructions and prescribe medicines with an online prescription if necessary. However, they may also suggest visiting a hospital if they need to see a doctor physically. The women of the village of Chaigao have been accustomed to this procedure for the last four years. Earlier, many women didn't have any idea about what problems they might be carrying inside. এই ক্যাম্পটায় আয়শা আমি বিভিন্ন জটিল রোগের চিকিৎসা করাইতে পারতেছি শুধু তাই না বিভিন্ন রকম টেস্টও করাইতে পারতেছি আর একটা সুবিধা হলো যে অনলাইনে ডাক্তার দেখানোর মাধ্যমে আমি বিভিন্ন রকম পরামর্শ পাইতেছি এবং বিভিন্ন রকম চেকআপের মাধ্যমে আমি অনেক কিছু বুঝতে পারতেছি This general health checkup initiative of the maternal and child health project is just a small part of their huge year-round activities the responsibility of the project is geared towards pregnant women, new mothers and babies. The appointed informants visit every home in the village to collect information and update the list of pregnant women throughout the year. Then, the health worker of the project prepares a calendar for the continuum care and continues providing service to the expectant mothers accordingly. Since one of the objectives of the PHC program is to utilize local human resources to reach the maximum number of patients, they have chosen the home delivery service by a local female health worker to ensure everyone's inclusion. The reason behind this is that pregnant or new mothers are reluctant to go to the healthcare centers as the transportation system is not good in the villages. Moreover, they think that it's enough to visit a doctor or a trained midwife just at the time of delivery. They are still in the dark about the importance of health checkups during pregnancy and postpartum. Hence, the project's health workers not only examine the patient's health, but they also work for awareness building among the village women. While the PHC model is widely admired around the world today, many people also know it by the brand name Genki Box. However, the Genki Box in the MCH project contains several additional devices, including an easy-to-carry Doppler machine, a small ultrasonogram device, and a special instrument for measuring infant's weight and height. With the help of these, an experienced health worker can understand the physical condition of the mother and her baby. Though these health workers are at the very bottom of the project pyramid, their first task is to sort out the initial verification, primary data collection, physical checkup and insert all these data to the online server properly. Then they connect the patient directly to a remote specialist doctor of this project through a video call. It's a big triumph for the women in Chaiga, where many women in rural Bangladesh have not seen a doctor in their entire life. They can get the service of a gynecologist just by staying at their homes. This is one of the major strengths of this project. Expecting mothers usually don't have the physical ability to go far to visit doctors. 
they become also reluctant because of financial and social prejudices. Therefore, the villagers of Chaigang consider it a matter of fortune to get this kind of modern medical services in this remote area. MCS Kutik, Amadir is again on a Maushi Shude, the Chikisha de Hotse, Eda Amadir, a Marshi Shura, who be booked to Hotsevole, Ami Monikuri, Karan Amadir Potum Tonchole, Doctor Available Noy, Doctor Powder by Gilbepar, Tai Tara Esheje, Shibara Ditse, Maushi Shura on a Gurbito, Amro Gurbito, Eta. অবহত থাকুক আমি এটা কামনা করছি The success of the project is so immense that the infant and maternal mortality rates in the project area of Chaigao under Shoryatpur district are almost zero now If the MCH model of the PHC system spreads across the country then not only the women of rural Bangladesh will be benefited, but many local jobs can be created from this. A young woman passing her high school can become a health entrepreneur of PHC service by completing a short one to three years paramedic course and take a training on PHC system. The capital required to start a career is negligible. Studies have shown that if a rural health worker can serve an average of 200 patients a month, she can return the amount in two to three years after maintaining her family. Global Communication Center is a portable health clinic. I have a training training. এবং এর মাধ্যমে ছয়টা ইউনিয়নের বিভিন্ন মানুষের বাড়ি বাড়ি গিয়ে আমি মা ও শিশুদের স্বাস্থ্য সেবা এবং ডাক্তারের পরামর্শ মতে তাদের কাছে ওষুধ বিক্রয় করি এর মাধ্যমে আমার যা ইনকাম হয় তাতে আমি এবং আমার পরিবার ভালোভাবে চলছে If you want to change a society someone has to pave the way first if the path shown by the maternal and child health project of the portable health clinic program is followed, every woman in Bangladesh can know her health cycle before pregnancy. Every pregnant mother can get assured with her safe delivery and health care of her unborn child and can get all modern services at home. Then, the day is not far when the atmosphere of this country will not be heavy for the death of another newborn. Mothers will not be afraid of untimely death, but weave dreams with their future offspring.